Grace and peace to you, beloved. Amy Wilson Feltz here. I'm the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church, and I'm so excited to be joining you for coffee with Pastor Amy on this Wednesday morning. Last week, my family and I were able to celebrate an important day in our lives. It was the sixth anniversary of the day that we met our daughter, Natalie. Of course, the other two children weren't around for that, but Jason and I remember the day very well. We drove from Abilene to Dallas to pick Natalie up from an intensive care unit where she had been healing from some wounds. She was a foster child at the time, and of course, we did not know what the future held for us as a family. We just knew we were there to support her for however long she needed us, whether that was a few days or forever. Natalie's adoption was finalized when she was two years old, and of course she's now six. So we celebrate that day as well, but we also take time to celebrate the day that we met. It was a long day. She was still in pain. We were very nervous about caring for her, and we are so grateful for the time that we have had and the time that we will continue to have with her, and for the joy that she brings. She brings so much joy into the lives of everyone that she knows. She's always had this megawatt smile that lights up a room, even when she was so young and she was still healing. She had this beautiful smile, has this beautiful smile that just helps you feel warm and comforted and in the presence of someone who's paying attention. And she is. She pays attention to the needs of others. She's very compassionate and empathetic. And I have a story about that specifically. Also last week, our family had a late night one night, and Jason and I were running a little bit late according to bedtime schedules in terms of settling the baby and Augie in for the night. Jason was in the girls' room rocking and singing to the baby, and I was reading a story to Augie in his room and then singing to him. And Jason was still working with the baby when I stepped out of Augie's room into the center of the house to see how Natalie was doing. And I found her standing on a step stool in front of the kitchen sink, rinsing the dishes and loading the dishwasher. My six-year-old just took it upon herself to start cleaning up the kitchen so that she could spend some extra time watching a little bit of a movie with her dad when he was finished caring for the baby. It was just this beautiful sight because she had that megawatt smile. I'll show you a picture here. She was so proud of herself. And the shoes are a nice touch, right? I need to remember that. I need to put on my fancy shoes when I'm doing the dishes so that I have a little more energy about it. <laughs> She was enjoying herself because she was caring for other people. So this has become a nightly routine for her. We've talked about which dishes she should save for mom and dad and which are safe for her to continue to rinse and load. And she just gets so much joy from it because she's helping people. I told her last night, you really don't have to do this. We can find some other chores that you can do if you want to contribute to the life of our household together and she said I just want to be helpful and it was just such a beautiful reminder to me that it often doesn't really take much for us to be helpful and to encourage other people and there's a verse in first Peter that I wanted to share with you this morning I wanted to share with you this morning as we are um, talking about this, and it's in chapter 4, beginning in verse 8. First Peter chapter 4, beginning in verse 8. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining, like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Serve one another with whatever gift each of you 
has received. We've all received the grace of God, which includes the capacity to serve others. You all who are connected with St. Paul's, you understand that. That's part of our mission. Love God, follow Jesus, serve others. And it's really so fun to be reminded by my six-year-old that service is something we can do fairly easily even within our inner circles, even within our families, our friendships. It's so fun to watch her grow into that. And so I wanted to share that encouragement with you this morning, especially if you're feeling disconnected, especially if you're feeling alone. Serving others can remind you that you are connected and often it it brings with it the service of others because we do reap what we sow. And so if, as we pour into other people, they tend to pour into us as well. And it doesn't have to be a large gesture. It can be something quite small, but something that you've noticed that you can do or speak to for other people. We can follow Natalie's example in this way, and it will make a difference. It will make a difference in the world. So I hope you find some encouragement in that. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I look forward to being with you here again next week for coffee with Pastor Amy as we wrap up this series and prepare to transition into a new season of life. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Grace and peace.